Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you speak to us. We thank you that we are your sheep and you are a shepherd and we hear your voice, God. We thank you that we do not follow the voice of another. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So Nick had asked me to share a few words, and I thought I knew what I was going to say. Um, but I, I feel like the Lord wants to say this to you. That I feel like the Lord wants you to know that he has been building a firm foundation. Even though the trials and the circumstances come and Jesus the word of God said that, you know, we can build a house and then the, the storms come and it can knock us down if we hadn't built it on the right firm foundation. But I just feel like the Lord wants you to know that even though it seems that struggle and just um, unceasing trials and circumstances just came over and over and over again, the Lord said, even in the midst of that, I have taken you. And I've held you in the shelter of my wings. I have put you in the cleft of the rock. I have hid you in myself. And the Lord would say, I have been building a firm foundation. Because see, that which I want to build upon has to have a stronger, firmer foundation. With no cracks, with no damage. That it is, it is firm and it is set the way I need it to be set. So that when I begin to build upon you that which is bigger than you thought it could be your foundation is already firm and it's already been expanded and your faith has already been um, tried your faith has went forth your faith has been strengthened because you have went through all of the, these things and now your foundation is firm and the Lord says because now I'm going to build upon you I'm going to build things in your life that have never been there before and they're going to be bigger than you can even imagine because am I not the God who does exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think yes that's who I am that's the God that I am and I know that even though things have been hard I have been with you, but I have also been strengthening you. I have also been firming up your foundation so that you know who I am and what I am capable of doing, no matter what the circumstances are in your life. For the Lord said that there is a shifting today. There is a shifting, and you are going to move into things that you have been praying for. And the Lord says, I know the times and the seasons that I have for you, and they are to prosper you, not to harm you, to bring you um, into good things. So the Lord wants you to know he has good things for you, and I feel like the Lord wants you to know that he's accelerating things now, things that, that even the prophecy said has been hard and just disappointment, and you have prayed and you stood firm, and it didn't happen. The Lord said, I'm going to accelerate things in this new season for you and in this expansion of what I'm building upon for you, and that... Um, I know Nick's been speaking about spiritual realities, but the Lord wants you to know that there's going to be new realities in your life. That in this process of building, new realities are coming to you. You're not going to think the way you used to think. You're not going to act the way you used to act. You're not going to respond the way you used to respond. You're not going to have little like you're used to. The Lord says, I have great abundance for you in every single area of your life. And I'm going to show you new realities. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. This is like, I, I, it's never been like this before, or I've never been where I haven't been stressed, or I've never been where something happens and my, I automatically begin to just praise and worship and I'm not worried and I'm not anxious and I'm not sick and I don't have um, confusion in my home and my marriage is oh so great and my children are just everything in your life. God wants you to know if you will put faith towards, I have a new reality for you to live in, a new reality of my kingdom, a new reality of my presence, a new reality of my love. God said he is coming forth with miracles and signs and wonders, and um, he is going to do something so great. So don't look to the ordinary. Do not look to the familiar, because that is going away. God wants you to look to the extravagant. Look for the extravagant. Look for the more than enough. Look for farther beyond what you can see.